right, so today is my uh, meeting to be all like in the system and stuff for this job. Um, and I need to leave in like 30 minutes, but guess who's uh, like not dressed yet? It's me because Beyonce put out lemonade and that's all I've been doing. So, yep, gotta figure out what the fuck I'm gonna wear. Because I was going to wear like a dress and tights, but I have to pee in a cup for a drug test. So I don't want to have to take my tights off. Also, this lighting is a mood. Uh, it's a time. Um, so I don't know what the fuck to wear. But because <clears throat> I haven't shaved my legs and normally I, I don't care about that. I actively wore a dress yesterday with hairy legs. But this is a professional setting and I feel like people will judge me. So I'd have to wear tights. Which I guess I might just do and have to, like, after I pee in a cup, put them back on. This is a really thrilling topic, I know. But I think that's what's going to happen. Alright, I'm off to find this place. Um, I have the address, but let's see. Make sure I don't get lost. <laughs> and I got my water bottle so I can drink that on the way and be able to pee in a cup. Um, I know there's no water in this, but just so you know, it was full when, like at home so I had drinking up to this point so far so hopefully I'll be able to pee <laughs> have I said how much I hate driving in Utica because I hate driving in Utica on the way here like four streets in a row were closed <laughs> so I had to like really detour to get here but now I'm here all right update uh the drug test was a mouth swab so now I really have to pee for no reason um and keep this like gigantic stack of paperwork um and now I'm gonna go get my TV shot. So, what a fun day. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, and I'll be starting May 6th. So, yeah. My mouth feels weird though, <laughs> from the swabbing. I had to hold a swab in my mouth for five minutes. And the whole time I was like, damn, I drank water for no reason. And now I really have to pee for no reason. So, yep, went great. Happy Wednesday, my dudes. I'm going to go get some fingerprints done for this new job. And yes, I did get fingerprints done in January. And yes, I'm getting them done again because apparently this new job can't just take them from the school district. So I have to go get them done again. Um, I'm only allowing it though because I don't have to pay for them this time. Last time I had to pay $99 to get them done. Um, but this time the job pays for me to get them done. So, you know. Um, that's what I'm about to go do, so a thrill. It's like 8 a.m., so I picked the earliest slot for the fingerprinting because I was like, because then I don't have to fucking wait if they're held up. They won't be held up because it's just me, so that's my day. <laughs> a thrill, so yeah. The amount of shit I'm doing for this job, man, but worth it. All right, fingerprints are done. And I'm just vlogging to say that it's really fucking cold outside. Um, yesterday was like 70 and I wore a dress all day and now it's like 40 and I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm freezing. So, climate change. <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> Can I help you? All right, y'all. So on Tuesday, I had to get my TB test, which involved them like injecting something into my arm. Um, and now I have to go get it read, aka like to see if there's like a bump or something. And then that determines if I have the tuberculosis bacteria. <laughs> um, yeah, all this for the new job. Um, but I guess if I have the bacteria, then I have to get a chest scan, but most people don't. So I should be fine. <laughs> so I have to get a chest scan though. I'm gonna be pissed. So hopefully it'll be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that read and then go to work today. So what a fun time. Um, yeah. So update, she just literally like squeezed my arm and was like, you're good. So I drove out to Utica just for a woman to squeeze my arm and tell me to go. So that's cool. Um, I love spending gas 
to have a lady squeeze my arm, but she's a cool lady, so good for her. She's this older woman with like purple hair, love her. Um, but yeah, solid like waste of my morning, but that's okay, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. All right, y'all, it's the uh, morning after Endgame. I'm waiting for my coffee to brew. Um, so while it does that, I thought I'd spoil the end game. Um, because y'all both saw it, so who cares? Um, man, I'm very upset they killed Black Widow, I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially for Hawkeye. They killed her for Hawkeye to live, so that's upsetting because I did not care if Hawkeye lived or died. I would have loved if Hawkeye died and then Black Widow gets to live. Because I hate this, since she doesn't have a family, she doesn't matter, bullshit, not here for it. Keep Black Widow, the Avengers are her family. <sighs> I was very upset about that. Um, let's see. Love um, Captain Marvel's lesbian haircut uh, look. Also loved her. Um, wish she was like the one to deliver the final blow to Thanos. But I get that Tony had to put on the iron, the gauntlet to, um, so that way they could kill him. <laughs> um, Mr. Stark, we won. I was sobbing. That was so sad. Um... No goose content, my only flaw. I gave it less, I cut out half a star on my letterbox review because there was no goose content. Um, what else? I don't know, I'm just so shook. Also, it did, <clears throat> ooh. Also, it didn't really feel like three hours, which was nice, um, but it was so entertaining. It was so good. Um, Jar wrote on letterbox that the first 30 minutes were boring as shit, and I couldn't agree. Um, the whole beginning where they kill Thanos is lit, but then when they're, like, mourning for 30 minutes, boring. <laughs> but I get it. So, it was real good, though. Real good. Um, best, easily best Marvel movie. Second best superhero movie ever. Sorry, Spider-Verse is still number one in my heart. Um, uh, yeah. I love, oh my god, when they snap their fingers to, like, make everyone be alive, I was like, alright, where the fuck are they? Where's Spider-Man? Get him here! Um, yep. Also, love that Chris Pratt was barely in it, because now I'm, like, really not into him. So, keep me switching arms, because my arm's getting tired. Um, yeah, also love that Gamora was there, even though it was technically Gamora from the past. Made me really happy. Um, uh, maybe they can bring back Black Widow from the past. That'd be great. I know they can't, though, because they exchanged her for a stone. But, like, I love her, so please. Um... Yeah, I can't wait to see how men hate this movie with the whole, like, girl squad towards the end. That was cute. Um, and in the moment, I was like, men are gonna hate this. So, can't wait. Um, yep. I'm very happy. It was really good. I don't have tickets to see it again, but I'm going to buy some eventually to see it again. Because I really enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. I'm very emotional. Also, Captain America send-off. Wow, it was so sweet. Um... Also, Tony's, like, monologue, crying. Love you, 3000. Wow. I'm so happy to give Tony a kid. <laughs> um, yep, that was so sweet. It was also sweet. Also, side note, the fact that Hawkeye just casually becomes a missionary, mercenary, not missionary, he's not Mormon, a mercenary in Japan, wow. <laughs> I was shook. Also, hated his haircut. Also, loved that they made Black Widow a straight mess. They were very good at making the Avengers look like shit. Um, n I relate to Thor with the messy ass hair and the uh, just chilling. Thor, iconic. People were pissed because they didn't get hot Thor the whole movie, but I don't care. I loved this rugged, depressed Thor because I'm also rugged and depressed. <laughs> so, loved Thor. Yep. There's my, my review of Avengers Endgame. It's lit as shit. Totally want to see it again. Four and a half stars. Loses half because the goose wasn't in it. But that's it. On this episode of Climate Change Isn't Fucking Real, it's snowing. It's like, what's today's day? Oh god, April 27th? I don't know, but it's almost fucking May and it's snowing. I don't know if you can, like, see the snow, but it's happening. And I just had to drive here in the snow and I'm very upset about it. Um, like, I'm very much filled with rage because it was fucking sunny like two days ago and now it's cold and depressing and I fucking refuse to wear a jacket. I'm done with jackets so I need the weather to stop. <laughs>
But yeah, you know, climate change ain't real. We already said this in the group chat, but fuck Republicans for not believing in climate change and screwing us all over and making me have to deal with snow when it's nearly May. So that's, that's my little anger bit. <laughs> Good morning. Game of Thrones battle. I, I don't know what the episode was technically called, but the big fucking battle was last night. So now I'm going to talk about that while I wait for coffee to brew. Um, Arya, the love of my life. That's all that matters. Honestly, wow. Fucking Jon Snow was just screaming at an ice dragon while Arya was kicking ass, killing the fucking Night King. Bad ass loved her um brand did nothing um again don't care about brand wasn't revealed that he was the night king so my conspiracy theory is out the window um sansa and Tyrion having that sweet little moment in the crypt that was that was cute i liked that um knew the crypt wasn't fucking safe fucking knew it um but i didn't get white walker dead stark out of the crypt not being safe so what was the point um let me see. Oh, that was just, just fucking an insane episode, man. And I watched it at the movie theater and that, man, were people amped over Arya. Um, man, fucking Arya losing her virginity, killing the Night King in like less than 24 hours. What a gal. Um, oh, she's all I can talk about. Um, all my faves are alive. Brienne of Tarth is alive. Um, Sans is alive, Arya's alive, Tyrion's alive, John's alive. What more could I want? Um, oh, the little girl, what's, I don't know her name. The one that stabs the fucking giant badass. Shout out to her. That was insane. Um, also very Attack on Titan of her. Um, I know Joe probably thought that too when she was like, he was bringing her towards the mouth. I was like, holy shit, this is Attack on Titan. Um, yeah. Also, Ghost is alive, according to the trailer, so shout out. That scene where, like, Ghost is running with Darth Mackie and, like, all the fireballs are going, amazing. Um, the cinematography, amazing. I know a lot of people are complaining that it was, like, dark, but I watched it on the, like, movie screen, so honestly it looks fine, so I don't really know people's complaints. I mean, I get because when I watch it on my laptop, it's dark as shit. Um, but man, that shit was cray. Also, all the Darth Mackie are just dead. <laughs> They fucking sacrificed all of them. They're all gone. Uh, so rip Danny's whole, like, family, basically. That's fucking sad. Um, but, you know. And now we just get to deal with Cersei for three episodes. Which, after fighting the Night King, Cersei feels very, like, an anticlimactic thing that we have to deal with. Um, but Arya best fucking kill her. Cersei's got green fucking eyes. And Melisandre told her, you're going to shut blue eyes, brown eyes, and green eyes. So now, all that stuff is green eyes, and that's fucking Cersei. So, I know I said I only wanted Jamie or Cersei to kill her, but I will allow Arya to. Um, also, intrigued to see who actually goes to King's Landing. Because I'm sure they're not all going to go. So, I'm pretty sure Sansa's going to stay in Winterfell, because... You know, that's her, that's her spot, man. She's queen there. She should just, I think she's going to stay. But, I don't know, I'm intrigued to see who's going to scrap with uh, Cersei. Especially because I thought for a hot minute that the Night King was already going to be at King's Landing with the dragon. Um, so, that didn't happen. So now I don't really, I don't really know what's going to happen with the throne. But the Night King's dead, so it all kind of feels like not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, so... That was awesome. Great episode. Can't complain. Loved everything about it. Yup. It was fucking epic. Uh, uh. Also, like, rip everyone that's not a main character. I did love every single time there was a huge fight, though, and they would, like, pan to the main characters, and it's like, roll call. These, this is who's still alive. Um, wow. What a good episode. I fucking love this show. I can't believe it's almost over. Oh. It's uh, 
Tuesday morning and I'm only vlogging because I just set up and now my head hurts so I've got a like fucking headache from sitting up um here I'll put Lady Gaga on the frame um so that's a time um I guess I'm gonna chug water and assume that's the problem I literally just sat up and now ow so aging we love it